go. Oh, thanks, Mum. Don't mention it, darling. Morning. Bit glam to be scrubbing bogs, aren't you? Uh, well, it's my day off, so I thought I'd go into town, maybe have a spot of lunch and then finish off with a bit of retail therapy. Well, steady on, Gail. You'll be having fun next. Someone round here needs to. See you later. See ya. So what were you, face ache? No, just tired, that's all. Is this mine? What are you doing today? I'm at the salon hour. And what about after? Nothing. So you'll be straight home after work then? Yeah. Oh, Carly, for the last time, there's nothing going on with me and Tina, right? So will you just get off my back, please? I'll see you, Max. See ya. Oh, Leanne! Oh, sorry, David, I can't stop him on my way to see Nick. Uh, that's what I want to talk to you about. He said last night that you picked up an envelope about the hotel booking. Oh, yeah, I'll give it to you, Mum. What? Why? Well, because you weren't there when I called around. She didn't give me it? Well, maybe, maybe she forgot. Look, it's all right. She knows it's all top secret. Kylie doesn't know anything about it. Yeah. David, I've really got to go. Sorry. It's your third bowl. Well, I'm a growing lad and anyway. You said you liked a bloke with a bit of meat on him. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I like to see in the morning. Happy, smiling faces. Mm. <laughs> Although, if you could refrain from groping my daughter while I'm in the room, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> so, are you ready for your first day as landlady? Mm, hardly. Still tons to do at the pub. Well, why don't you go over there and sort that out, and then me and Barry... And carry on packing the boxes and moving them over. I'd love to help, but the thing is, uh, I think I overdid it the other day. Me back, it, it's giving me awful pain. Barry, if you're going to tell Porkies, at least try and be original. Oh, what, like you, you mean? When have I ever lied to you? Um, how about when you bought the pub? That wasn't a lie. I was being economical with the truth, and anyway, I've turned over a new leaf. Yeah, well, you better add, cos any more fibs from you, darling, and it's... Right. <laughs> <laughs> so she's still got no idea that you're taking to Blackpool. Well, it's supposed to be a surprise. If she knew, it, it would somewhat defeat the object of the exercise. Do you not think? I'll tell you what I think. I think she's going to be really made up, especially when... Oh, right! So it's red wine you put in the sauce. Well, that's where I'm going wrong, honestly. Spoon man, too. What am I like? What, what do you... Ah. Thank you. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No, no. Me and Roy were just discussing recipes. Where we going? Yes. Yes. Oh, right. Well, um, I was just thinking of going for a walk one day if you wanted to join me. Oh. Um, I hope you don't mind, Hayley, but I was going to cook Ty something special for his tea, so Roy said he'd show me his beef balls, you know? Yeah, yeah that's some, some other time, perhaps. Oh. All right, then. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 So, have you packed a suitcase for her? I wasn't quite sure where to begin. Oh, right, right. I'll go up to the flat. I'll pack a couple of outfits for her. You sort out what you're going to take. Very well. And don't forget your dancing shoes. Pardon? Well, she's going to want to go dancing with you, isn't she? I suppose, uh... You have been practising, haven't you? Not exactly. Roy! You can't just shuffle about like you normally do. Honestly, you're going to have to learn a waltz or a foxtrot or something quick. Come on, come on. What's the point of having a mobile if you can't be bothered to switch it on? Are you trying to call? My mum. Oh, well, you're not usually that keen to speak to her. Is anything wrong? Leanne gave us something that's mine and why I need it. Well, what was it? It's confirmation of a hotel booking that I've made for me and Kylie. Only it's supposed to be a surprise, all right? So don't be telling anyone. Are you smiling at Well, I'm just wondering when you got to be so romantic. Well, I've always been romantic. I just hit it dead well. Oh. Anyway, don't worry. I'm sure it'll turn up. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Traffic was a nightmare. You look like you're doing better. Should have seen me before. Nearly made it across the room in under ten minutes. I thought forget that letter for David. Oh, yeah, I saw him this morning. Sorted. Hi. Hi. He's been working really hard this morning. Oh, I think he's keen to get out of here. Then have some good news. You can go home today, once the consultant and the rest of the team have seen you. When will that be? You're top of the list. I'm not sure I'm ready. 
You what? You'll be fine. Why don't you have another five minutes along the corridor? I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. He's probably just a bit nervous about going home, seeing people he knows. Happens a lot. Try not to worry. Yeah. See ya. Oh, thanks, love. Ooh. You all right, love? Every time somebody leaves that door open, the coal strikes right through me. Yeah, oh, I imagine how I feel. Stood outside day after day in the cold and the rain. With me lollipop in me hand. You know what our problem is? Not enough thermal underwear. We need a holiday. Oh, can we afford it? Well, I've got some money put away for a rainy day or even a freezing cold one. Oh, now you come to mention it a week or two away. It does sound nice. Yeah. <laughs> Where would you go? I don't know. Where would you go? I don't know either. Well, you think of somewhere while you're out, and I'll think of somewhere. And then we'll go where you want. Exactly. Yeah. Well, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, hello, Roy. Hello. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. hello, Roy. How can I help you? Well, I, actually, I was hoping to see Norris. Is he here? Unfortunately, yes. Norris! Uh, do you rang? Roy wants to see you. Um, what for? Well, uh, it, it, it is a rather delicate matter. Oh, well, I do have to go to the suppliers anyway, so I'll leave you to it. See you later. Uh, so what is this delicate matter of yours, then? Well, I, I, I need you to teach me the foxtrot. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Carla? Mum? Yeah. <gasps> what are you doing here? Well, I came back to see if there's anything for dinner, but there's nothing I fancied, really, so I'm just going to nip to a chipper. All right. All right, I'll see you after work. Bye. Bye. Did you see that? You were acting well shifty. He always acts like that. No. You were up to something. If you're talking about David and Tina, you're totally barking up the wrong tree. <sighs> David loves you. I've been up the stick for months. I've just dropped a sprog without going into the gory details. It's hardly been a love fest round here lately. Yes, good. That's normal. Yeah. Isn't it? Like it's normal for blokes to go sniffing round elsewhere if they're not getting any at home. Besides, him and Tina have got history. But you've asked him and he's denied it. What else are you going to do? Prove his line through his teeth. And you're going to help me. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't think it'd be better with music. Oh, I've already explained. I have to listen out for the door. Now, concentrate and do what I tell you. Oh. Give me a hand. Do I have to? Yes. But here. Now, I don't know what you're complaining about anyway. At least you get to lead. Now, put your other arm around me. Uh, not down there. A bit higher up, please. Now, are you ready? One, two, three. Step, step, rise, step, rise, step, step, rise, side, side, step. Oh, oh so I'm sorry, this, this was a mistake. Uh, thank you for your time. No, 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 Roy, wait. This trip to Blackpool, uh, who was it for? Well, Hayley, of course. Exactly. And if she doesn't have a wonderful time, you're going to regret it. Now... Help me clear up what's left of this teapot, which was of great sentimental value, by the way, and then we start again, all right? OK. Now, come on. Right, so you're sure you're all right to work that weekend, then? Yes, it'll play havoc with my social life, but then again, I can always take the Golden Girls. Oh, another lunch break, is it, lads? Have a heart. I've hardly stopped lugging stuff over from the flat all morning. 
Oh, yeah, how's that going, then? A couple more trips, I reckon we'll be done. I suppose you've earned a break. In that case, I'll have a pint and all. All right, just as long as you don't end up having to carry each other up the stairs. What can I get you? Oh, I think I'll just have the usual, please. Sorry, I can't seem to remember what that is. No, that's probably because you're too busy trying to remember what shade of orange to paint yourself in the morning. All right, Tina, I'll get this one. Oh, I don't know. Whatever happened to service with a smile? Well, here is one just for you. Oh, that's more like it. Somebody that actually takes pleasure in the job. Even if it is just pouring pints and mopping up sick. Oh, a bit more to it than that, Tracy. What, being a barmaid? Well, more landlady, actually. You what? Oh, didn't you know? Yeah, Steve's bought this place as a kind of surprise gift for me. Really sweet him that, don't you think? Yeah. Well, I can think of many more things that I'd rather have, like, uh, well, piles. Oh, now, come on, Tracy. Jealousy's a very unattractive emotion. Me jealous? What, of a scuzzy backstreet boozer? Oh, maybe. But it's mine. Oh, really? So how come it still has Stella's name above the door, then? Thank you, Tracy. What for, Steve? You have just reminded me of something. Red wine, please. Any dry? I've been through his clothes, turned our bedroom upside down, nothing. Maybe that's because there's nothing to find. Look, you're just going to wind yourself up even more if you stay here, aren't you? Why don't we go back to mine and watch a DVD? Have a bottle of wine or something? Yeah, have you got out good? I don't know, have a look. Hey, yeah, double bill. What about this comedy and then this one with Colin Firth? He's well fit for an old bloke. Fine, whatever. I thought you said you'd look down here. I did. So, so what's this then? Hey, go, babe. A little present for you. What do you think? I love it. What do you think, Tracy? Well, I think you'd be better off putting that sign up with Blue Tack the amount of times this place changes hands. What's going on? New owners of the pub, new sign. Oh, must be nice having a sign over your door. Should I get one? Saying what? Abandon hope, all who enter here. <gasps> um, thought you might want that. Uh, to remind us of happier days. <sighs> oh, shove it in the bin, best place for it. <laughs> you come in for a drink, though, won't you, on the house? Yeah. Best idea I've heard all day. <laughs> left again, the side, the right back. Very nice. Left. Remember back. what I told you, nice and quietly. Right back. Sorry, yes. No, wait. Oh, wait, I've just realised what's wrong. What? You're looking at your feet. Well, the reason for that. I know, but you should be looking into my eyes. Why? Well, the foxtrot is the dance of romance. So let's try it again, but this time you look straight at me. Yeah. Ready? Ready. That's it. Nice and relaxed. Yeah. And look into my eyes. I am looking into your eyes. No, 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 not like that. Look, I want you to imagine that I am the woman you love and adore and that you desire me above all other women with every fibre of your being. I uh, really should get out more, Roy. It, 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 it's not what it looks like. <laughs> Nothing could be what this looks like. Uh, no. <laughs> well, here we are. Oh, hi, Nick. How are you? Uh, <laughs> getting there, you know. Oh, it's good to see you back on your feet again. It's not the standing that's a problem, it's the uh, moving around bit. <laughs> you take it easy, you've been through a lot, and if there's anything you need... Yeah, thanks, Fizz. Let's get inside for us, see you in a minute. Yeah. Oh, too late. <laughs> You're back! Oh, it's oh, my ribs. I'm sorry, but I'm just so pleased to see you home. How are you feeling? Nick? You all right? I'll let you out, then. I'll give you home with that. I can manage. It's all right, I can... I say it. I can manage. Uh, 
Uh, maybe let him get settled. Maybe pop back in an hour or two, yeah? Yeah, yeah OK. He's probably just tired, needs some time on his own. Uh, never mind him, why'd you disappear to? I've been trying to get hold of you all day. Oh, sorry, I forgot to charge my mobile up again. Why? What's the matter? Well, I need that envelope that Leanne gave you last night. For the hotel? Yeah, where is it? Home. Well, where at home? Don't worry, Carly won't find it. I put it in a DVD box for safekeeping. Unbelievable. David! Uh, do you mind if we join you? Be my guest. It must be weird for you, watching someone else running things. Well, let's just hope they have better luck than we did. Oh, so you won't be boycotting the place, then? Oh, no, not as long as they keep serving us free drinks, anyway. Free drinks? Mm -hmm. Oh, can you have a white wine, please, Sean? Coming up. And for sir? Yeah, I'm just going to have half a lager, please. Right. We'd like that in a straight glass. Any shape will be fine, thank you. <laughs> Check it out. The work of a master. Even a trained monkey could do that. Oh, sorry. No offence to you. None taken. Uh, I'm going to go on my break. I might even get myself a banana. <laughs> and before you do yourself an injury, patting yourself on the back, remember you've got a shift tonight. How am I supposed to do two jobs at once? I'm not doing your hours for you. And I wouldn't even think about leaving Michelle running this place on her own. Oh, not unless you want to be speaking like Minnie Mouse for the rest of your life. Oh. What's it like to be so popular? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. It's not here. I can't think where else it could have got to. Well, try. I mean, did you, you show you put it in a DVD kit? Absolutely positive. Right, well, which one? I can't remember. I don't know what you're getting so upset about. I mean, the hotel will still have the room booked for you. Yeah, but I don't want Carly finding out. Well, not yet. Well, if she does, she'll be absolutely delighted. Look, you get back to work. I'll have another think about where it can be, and if I find anything, I'll let you know. And, David, mm. try not to worry. The devious little... I knew he were lying to me. Look, all you know is that he's booked a room in a hotel. He might have done it as a surprise, like the time you took him away. You don't prove anything. Oh, says you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you're hardly an expert, are you? Every bloke you've been out with cheated on you. Oh, right. Cheers for the kind and supportive words. Look, all I'm saying is I've had a feeling he's been lying to me about summer and now I know what. I think you're making something out of nothing. Why don't you just go and speak to him and sort it out? Oh, don't worry, I will. Right after I've had a word with her. I'm off to the Rovers. OK, Ginger Rogers, see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's very droll. Don't you know it's rude to read over people's shoulder? Well, if you budge up a bit, I wouldn't have to. What are you doing? I'm making a list of holiday destinations. Dennis and I are thinking of going away. Together? No, he's off on safari. I thought I'd have a crack at snowboarding. Hmm. Of course, together, if it's OK with you. No oh, concern of mine. I just wish I could go on holiday. Well, what's stopping you, apart from being a skinflint? Well, who on earth would look after this place if I wasn't here? Goodbye, Norris. Goodbye, Rita. Hey, that was a nice thing you did for Roy. Yeah, well, can't be easy for them, can it? Knowing what's just around the corner. No. Enjoy your drink. Mm. Listen, it'll only be for a few nights. Just till Nick gets settled in again. Maybe I can help him, you know, fetch stuff or help him with his exercises or something. Yeah, well, there'll be plenty of time for that. And anyway, it'll be good seeing your dad again, won't it? It's not even the problem. Yeah, I know you don't like Carla, but try and be nice, eh? Having said that, anyway, you can wind her up, go for it. <laughs> well, can you just tell me what you're going to do, please? I'm just going to ask what she's been doing with me husband. Tell Lily what you've got out. When you say you're going to ask her, Leanne, are you going to talk to her? Are you going to scream at her? Are you going to shove her head through a table? Oh, cheers, I've not thought of that one. <laughs> Kyla, you're going to end up spending a night in the cell if you're not careful. It's all right, I've done it before. Can you do us a favour? Yeah. Look after Lily for a bit. Oh, well, how long for? Hour, maybe two. Food's in a bag, it just needs eating up. Let's take her to Gala's. <laughs> She's so weird, it's babies. <laughs> I want a word with you. Excuse me, I think you'll find I was here first. Oh, shut it, Noddy. <laughs> I knew you reminded me of someone. Funny, is it? 
Right, let's see you laugh that off. Tina, what's going on? I ain't got a clue. Don't give me that, you lying tart. Right, that's it. No, Tina, no. just leave it. I'm not having a talk with me like that. Turn around, Kylie. You're on. Well, I've that. Oh, I don't believe you, Lock. You should have bet on Tina. Right, mouth almighty, what's your problem? I want to know what's been going on between you and my husband. Nothing. So why is he booking hotel rooms for you and him, then? I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it. Oh, you expect me to believe that? You better go and get David from the salon. I'm going to miss the show. Marcus. Spoil sport. Oh, Kylie, let's go home, eh? Yeah, yeah, you heard. A good idea. I'll tell you, but... I said, pack it in! Eva, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Are you all right, love? Is my face OK? Yes, it's fine. Can we go and check, oh. please? Oh, well done, Kylie. One down, two to go. You? Wipe that grin off your face or you'll be through that window, teeth first. And you, get your scrawny backside out. You're bad. You can't bar me in, even your pub. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, what is she doing here? I've no idea. And why is she saying it's her pub? Jet lag. I, 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 I wouldn't worry about it. You heard her? Do one. I'm not going anywhere until I find out what's been going oh, on. I'll give it a rest. Nothing is going on. You're a liar. You're off your head. I'm not joking you. I want the truth. And I want it now. Back in half an hour.